Welcome to our instructional video for the Cavo Pro XM 2D. Over the next few minutes, this video will cover everything you need to know in order to use the unit in your practice. My name is Bernard Fiedler, I am an X-ray specialist and I'll guide you through using the unit today. Before we can input the settings for patients into our ProXM 2D, we have to activate the unit in the Romexis software. So, we go to the PSA button to activate 2D imaging. Now you can select the position on the unit itself. After activating this in Romexis, we go to Panorama on the unit, where we have the option of vertical and horizontal selection. This means that we can choose between half-side, lower jaw, and upper jaw imaging. We can also select bite wing imaging here. We can make a selection here too. Incidentally, this is set in the same way as the panoramic image. The button for patient pre-selection is at the top. Here we can choose which type of patient we are x-raying. Finally, we go to the positioning level to call the patient into the x-ray room and position them correctly. In the positioning level, we let the patient enter the unit, position themselves securely with their chin on the chin tray in the bite block, and bite into the grooves. This shows the up and down movement of the unit. Here are the motorized temple supports and the option for switching the laser aimers on and off. These two arrow keys are not required for the ProXAM 2D. We align the Frankfurt horizontal with a rotary knob here. Feel the underfloor of the orbital cavity. Align the mid-sagittal. And finally, the canine laser, which should be between 2 and 3 on the upper jaw on the unit. Smile, please. We have a chin rest for edentulous jaws. If using this, it is important to ensure that the canine laser is positioned in the nasal fold. Now we can adjust the desired jaw shape on the display. And we also have the option of adjusting the kilovolts and milliamps. Once the patient is in the right position, we go to the final step, triggering the imaging. We can only do this when the green light stops flashing and goes a steady green. We then leave the x-ray room and trigger the imaging. During this time, we keep our finger on the trigger button. After the imaging, we go into Remexis and click Done to save the image. To take sinus images with ProXM 2D, we remove the bite block and attach our sinus holder. We press the sinus program on our display. Select the patient type again and go on to the positioning level. For sinus imaging, we position the equipment below the nose on the upper lip, turn the head to the middle, close the temple supports, and position the Frankfurt horizontal. The canine laser is not required for sinus imaging. We can now prepare for imaging. To start the temporomandibular joint imaging process on our ProXAM 2D, we go to temporomandibular joints on our display. Here we can choose double lateral or double posterior anterior.
we can select a side or image both sides at the same time. Again, we're given the opportunity to pre-select the patient type. Then we go to the positioning level. The temporomandibular joint images are taken beneath the nose, against the upper lip. We close the temple supports. Align the Frankfurt horizontal, the mid-sagittals, and our canine laser. Please give us a smile and position between two and three, measuring from our canine laser to the temporomandibular joint, in this case, 75 millimeters. In other words, we set our unit to 75 millimeters using the minus button. When we've done that, we go to image ready mode. When imaging the temporomandibular joint, we start with the mouth closed. And after the first imaging round, we enter the x-ray room again, ask the patient to open their mouth, and confirm on the display that the second imaging round can be triggered. In order to start teleradiographic imaging with our ProHexam 2D, we go to teleradiographing on the display and remove the positioning aids accordingly. The temple supports are simply folded down. After that, we press the red X to continue. Now we have the following settings. We can make set the lateral as a full lateral. or select various other programs, such as poster anterior, anterior posterior, or hand and oblique imaging. Again, we have the patient pre-selection display. We can switch to the positioning level. Now we can call our patient into the x-ray room and position them in the unit. We use the toggle switch to move the equipment up and down to adjust the ear tips to the correct height. To move them, we press the silver toggle switch and insert them into the ear canal. Now we set the Frankfurt horizontal and position the nasion at the bridge of the nose. Once we position the patient, we go to the image ready mode setting on the display. Leave the x-ray room, ask the patient to stay still and trigger the imaging. Thank you. The entire frame can be rotated for further anteroposterior, posteroanterior positioning. Oblique imaging is also possible. The positioning remains the same. You can find other types of positioning in our instructions for use. Further details of Cavo ProX M2D and Romexis can be found on the Cavo website, in the other videos, or in the instructions for use. Thanks for watching.